If anyone was a perfect fit for Dominic Moore, it was Katie Urbanic Moore. That's my Ranger, original Ranger year from back when I started my career. And uh, yeah, that was towards the end of the summer, I guess. And she put it on and was hamming it up in the Ranger gear. And you can see the intensity on her face there. <laughs> No doubt, Dominic, you've got lots of great stories about Katie, but is there one that stands out as a favorite? I was shooting pucks, you know, on the side of the rink um, in the summertime, and I was trying to test two different sticks and, uh, and to see which one, you know, was coming off hotter, uh, you know, coming off with more speed, and I had this radar gun, and Katie, uh, I asked Katie if she wanted to go behind the net and, use, and you know, hold the radar gun. And uh, it was kind of an old net, and there was, you know, it was just a little, it was in a little bit of state of disrepair. And, and uh, sure enough, she had no qualms, went behind the net with the radar gun. And, um, you know, sure enough, like second shot, it hits the post and goes through a hole in the net and drills her right in the knee. And she's bleeding. <laughs> she, she snaps, obviously, but. Uh, went, went to get some ice, got it patched up, and then uh, she got right back in there, but she had a goalie mask and pads on, <laughs> and we finished the job. <laughs> this is what Moore chooses to remember, the good times, a beautiful relationship strengthened by its hardship. The most difficult moments are, are definitely burned in your memory because they're so painful and because they were so difficult, and that is part of the tough thing of, of getting through it is, is um, you know, not letting those those moments kind of make you forget about all the the fun and you know rewarding moments you had along the way. And you think you know someone, and, and then you see them go through, um, like I said, these these inhuman type of obstacles, and that's when a person's character truly comes out. And and hers was just like this. To me, it was miraculous the way she she dealt with everything. There's there's no chance on earth I would have been able to deal with it the way she did. He created the Katie Moore Foundation with more information at katiemoore.org. July 24th, he will host the third annual Smashfest table tennis event in Toronto with proceeds going to her charity. She would be really proud of that because it's it's an event that's all about fun and, and uh, obviously for, for important causes as well. Dominic Moore, stutter step, gets to the net, scores! Terrific goal by Dominic Moore. Moore's first choice for his NHL comeback was the Rangers, who drafted him in 2000. He signed a one-year contract and with a new appreciation for the game, hopes to continue. Most of all, he wants anyone watching this who is going through a similar ordeal to understand there is reason to smile, laugh, and enjoy life on the other end. Almost every day, I, you know, here walking into the Madison Square Garden yesterday, a guy handed me a, a letter as I walked into the arena to the game, and you know, I, I opened the letter and it was it was a heartfelt note that he had he had gone through cancer and um, he had been up, uplifted by you know my story and Katie's story and, and me coming back, and um, that stuff is not lost on me. I think uh, you know the advice is that that. Number one, you're not alone. Number two, anything is possible. You know, if you're putting a, a silver lining on, on the whole situation, obviously you're going through, you know, hell on earth for lack of a better description, but it's also the most uh, uh, love and connection that you could possibly feel with someone. And so you, you, in a way you feel lucky that you, you went through that. She put a smile on my face every day and, and still does.